As you become more successful and financially well off, you'll likely find yourself attending more high-end events, including formal dinners and black tie galas. Knowing how to behave in these situations is crucial, and that's why in this video, we're going to explain why it's so important to know fine dining etiquette. First and foremost, fine dining etiquette shows respect for the people around you. Showing that you know how to behave at the table can demonstrate that you're a refined and polished individual who understands the importance of respecting others. In addition, knowing fine dining etiquette can help you feel more confident and comfortable in formal settings. Welcome to Luxury of the Day, inspiring you to unlock your billionaire potential. Today, we're diving into an essential topic for any luxury connoisseur, fine dining etiquette. We'll cover everything you need to know from table settings to toasting, so you can dine with confidence and grace. So hit that subscribe button and let's explore the world of fine dining etiquette together. Number one, navigate a formal dinner table setting with ease. Let's start with table settings. When you sit down at a formal dinner, the table setting can seem overwhelming, but it's really not as complicated as it looks. First, take a look at the place setting in front of you. Silverware is arranged in the order in which it will be used, starting from the outside and working your way in. The bread plate is always on the left, and the water glass is on the right. The butter knife is placed diagonally across the bread plate, with the handle facing to the right. The napkin is often placed on top of the dinner plate or on the left side of the plate. Number two, know how to handle your silverware. Now that you're seated, it's important to know how to handle your silverware. The basic rule is to work from the outside in, using utensils from the outside for the first courses and progressing inward for the later courses. The knife should be held in your right hand with the fork in your left. While you're not using your utensils, they should be placed on the plate with the tips facing up, forming an inverted V. Number three, the proper way to handle your napkin at a formal table setting. In addition to knowing how to handle your silverware, it's important to know what to do with your napkin. When you sit down, the first thing you should do is unfold your napkin and place it on your lap. If you need to excuse yourself from the table, place your napkin on your chair. At the end of the meal, fold your napkin and place it to the left of your place setting. Number four, table manners. When it comes to actually eating, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, chew with your mouth closed and don't talk with your mouth full. Second, take small bites and don't rush through your meal. Third, if you're not sure how to eat a particular dish, watch your host or ask your server for guidance. Finally, remember to pace yourself and stop eating when you're no longer hungry. By now, you've probably picked up some great tips on fine dining etiquette, but why stop there? Our channel is your go-to source for all things luxurious, including more guides on dining, fashion, beauty, and more. So if you want to stay up to date on the latest trends and insider secrets, like our videos, leave a comment, and share with your fellow Luxies. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. With your support, we can continue to bring you the most exclusive and informative content to help you live your best life. So don't be shy, join the Luxi Squad today, and let's elevate our lifestyles together. Number five, how to excuse yourself from the table. Now, let's talk about some of the finer points of fine dining etiquette. For example, if you need to get up during the meal, you should say, excuse me, and place your napkin on your chair. Similarly, when someone asks to be excused from the table, you should say, of course, or certainly. If you're a guest of honor, it's polite to thank the host for the invitation and the meal. Number six, how to handle difficult foods. Another important aspect of fine dining etiquette is knowing how to handle difficult foods. For example, if you're served a dish with bones or pits, discreetly remove them from your mouth using a fork or a spoon. If you're served super stew, use your spoon to ladle the liquid away from you and eat it from the side of the spoon. If you're served shellfish, it's important to use the appropriate tools, such as a seafood fork or a shell cracker. Number seven, how to toast. When it comes to toasting, 
there are a few key points to keep in mind. First, when someone proposes a toast, you should raise your glass, but not drink until everyone has toasted. Second, when you raise your glass, make sure it's at the same level as everyone else's glass. Third, after the toast, take a sip, but not the entire drink. Finally, if you're a guest of honor, it's appropriate to thank the host for the toast and acknowledge the occasion. In addition to toasting, it's also important to be mindful of your alcohol consumption. If you're unsure of how much to drink, follow the lead of your host or the other guests. You should also avoid getting drunk, as this can be seen as disrespectful and can ruin the atmosphere of the dinner. Number eight, how to engage in conversation. Another aspect of fine dining etiquette to keep in mind is the art of conversation. At a formal dinner, it's important to engage in polite and respectful conversation. Avoid discussing controversial topics such as politics or religion, and be sure to listen attentively to your dining companions. If you're not sure what to talk about, consider asking your dining companions about their interests or experiences. Number nine, paying for the bill. When it comes to paying the bill, there are a few things to keep in mind. If you're the host, it's important to take care of the bill discreetly, either by paying it in advance or by excusing yourself to take care of it. If you're a guest, you should offer to pay your share of the bill, but don't argue if the host insists on paying. Finally, when the meal is over, it's important to thank your host and the wait staff for the meal. A simple thank you and a smile goes a long way in showing your appreciation. Luxies, are you ready to impress your dinner guests with your newfound fine dining knowledge? Remember, being a true Luxie means mastering every aspect of your life, including the art of fine dining. If you want to keep up with the latest tips and trends on living a luxurious lifestyle, like our video, leave a comment and share with your friends. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. By subscribing, you'll never miss out on a future guide and tutorial on everything from table settings and silverware to hosting and toasting. So, what are you waiting for? Join the Luxie Squad today and let's continue to elevate our lifestyles to the next level. Number 10. Be mindful of your body language. In addition to verbal communication, it's important to be mindful of your body language when dining in a formal setting. Sit up straight, avoid slouching, and don't put your elbows on the table. Keep your hands in your lap when you're not using your utensils and avoid fidgeting or playing with your hair or jewelry. Number 11, pace yourself with the courses. At a formal dinner, there may be several courses served throughout the meal. Pace yourself by taking small bites and savoring each course. Don't rush through your meal or try to finish everything on your plate. If you need to take a break, place your utensils in the rest position on your plate with the tines of the fork facing down and the blade of the knife facing inward. Number 12, be polite to the waitstaff. In addition to showing respect to your fellow diners, it's important to be polite and respectful to the waitstaff. Treat them with the same level of respect that you would show to any other guest, and be sure to say please and thank you when making requests. Avoid snapping your fingers or calling out to the waiter. Simply make eye contact and politely request their attention. Number 13. Pay attention to the dress code. Depending on the event of a restaurant, there may be a dress code to follow. Be sure to dress appropriately, and if you're not sure what to wear, ask the host or call the restaurant in advance. Avoid wearing anything too revealing or casual, and opt for more formal attire if in doubt. By following these additional steps for fine dining etiquette, you can ensure that you're presenting your best self and making a positive impression to any formal dining situation. And that's a wrap, Luxies. By now, you've learned all the essentials of fine dining etiquette and you're one step closer to living a billionaire's lifestyle. But why does it matter, you might ask? Because being a true Luxie is not just about accumulating wealth and material possessions. It's about embodying a certain grace, elegance, and sophistication that comes from within. Knowing the proper way to handle your silverware, napkins, and glass can be the difference between a mediocre meal and a memorable one. It shows that you respect yourself, your dining companions, and the art of dining itself. And as a Luxie, you deserve nothing but the best. So, 
keep on practicing your fine dining skills, and don't forget to share your knowledge with your loved ones. And if you want to continue learning more about living a luxurious lifestyle, like our video, leave a comment, share with your fellow Luxies, and be sure to hit that subscribe button. We can't wait to bring you more exclusive content to help you live your best life. Until next time, stay classy and luxurious.